to save uh, worker health in uh, laying a different kind of uh, asphalt down. And we're doing this in our streets now. Just an example of how people on the front lines, people uh, working at the city, actually, if you enable it, if you say, we got to do things differently, think creatively, and, and come up with something new and different, it's phenomenal what happens in the most unlikely things. So uh, economic development has been a big priority for me. And, you know, I, we are being powered by resource industries here for uh, many years, uh, decades, generations, and they continue to contribute enormously to Vancouver's economy. But it's actually the creative economy that is growing leaps and bounds here. And uh, I, I know many people here work in the creative industries. Uh, I made a goal uh, for Vancouver that we really focus on growing our creative industries. And digital media is, um, has been growing leaps, leaps and bounds. We've been, we've been attracting companies from all over. One of the companies that uh, I really wanted to be here in Vancouver was Industrial Light Magic Lucasfilm. And I had a trip down to Vancouver with our economic commission, and we arranged a meeting, and, and on the phone they said, well, just pull in the parking lot, come around the corner, we'll meet you at the uh, Yoda fountain. <laughs> well, so here's the Yoda fountain, and uh, which, um, which ended up being fortuitous because uh, they decided to set up a studio here in Vancouver. Last year, uh, they are creating jobs here on the ground in Vancouver with many other studios from California, but this was really their first venture outside of the, the, uh, the ranch in California and their facility here at the Presidio with the Yoda Fountain. So focusing beyond the, the usual and, and looking at the opportunities for creative industries to succeed here and for us to attract that investment, attract companies, attract more talent and be a real hub, a globally significant hub. In digital media now we're in the top three with LA and London. So we've, uh, we've come a long way in a very few number of years and that's because we have extraordinary talent and, and, uh, and belief that creative industries can make a difference here. So my job is, uh, is really dynamic, really fun and interesting. Uh, it can go from horrific at times dealing with, uh, with uh, big problems that we have, whether it's homelessness and gang wars and the, the challenges we have as a, a society. It can also have some fun and interesting things. And this is uh, me jamming with Dan Mangan and uh, David Byrne. Actually, that's not me with David Byrne. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to be that guy. <laughs> and uh, this is a very creative Vancouverite. Love dearly, so I get to sort of bounce around and see. Um, well, the oldest woman in Canada, 112 years old, she she died a year ago today, um, which was which was sad. But she uh, was 112, um, and I get to kiss babies too, so I, I <laughs> run the full gamut in uh, in my day to day life, and uh, I get to hang out with really cool people. <laughs> experience uh, the, the extremes of our city, as I said. The, this was about 3 a.m. after the Stanley Cup riot, and uh, walking through the streets as, as the guys were boarding up all of the broken uh, window storefronts, and uh, police were dealing with the burned out cars. Uh, from that, uh, kind of that all-nighter on the streets and dealing with the aftermath, to uh, the next morning, the next couple of days where people of Vancouver came in and took over our streets, cleaned up, and um, and we had the, the graffiti walls happen, which uh, at the beginning of that, that morning, the next morning, uh, a bunch of us were milling around, and there were all these plywood, blank plywood sheets, as far as you can see on the bay. And, uh, and this uh, this guy who I know lives on the street, actually he's now in, he got a place to live, but he was um, someone I knew, and he said, hey, you know, Mr. Mayor, we don't have enough pens or markers. There's, there's a lineups of people, and there, you know, there's like eight little mar magic markers happening at a time, and all these people, hundreds of people, pouring in there. So a couple of us were like, "Okay, let's go. Let's go find Sharpies, magic markers, whatever we can find." We ran into London Drugs. We it was just like in the movies, you know, filling boxes with all these magic markers and uh, Sharpies, and came up and uh, just started handing them out, and then it was just like boom. Hundreds of people, all with colors and, and writing and expressing and, and creating a whole different 
vision of, of what our city is from what had happened the night before. It was just an incredible outpouring, and, uh, and that idea came from a guy who lives on the street and saw it happening on the spot. And look what it turns into. They're, they're now, um, those boards are, um, are part of the Museum of Vancouver, so we've got them as, uh, as art for the future. Some, a lesson to learn from, uh, from some of the, the extremes that we've faced. So again, I just, I'll just come back to, um, to the, the need to be creative in our community and the importance of politics in that because we can bring creativity to everything that we do and we in fact must do that to deal with the, the scale and the, the difficulties that we face right now. Uh, I would encourage all of you to get involved more directly in community, whether that's at the extreme of politics and government, which, uh, which works for some of us. You might surprise yourself uh, how fun you find it and how readily you adapt to it. I never thought I could adapt to it, but here I stand today. And uh, I hope I'm doing a good enough job to, to represent our city for uh, the years ahead. But that can be in many different ways and forms through the community, through uh, responsible business, through creating arts and culture and enlivening our community. All of that is direct and, and direct ways to embrace change and to drive the pace of change for the maximum positive impact. I think that's uh, ultimately, uh, if, if we can shape the change, it's coming at us no matter what, it's inevitable. We can shape that for maximum positive outcomes if we, we use our, our creativity. That's, uh, that's the promise that we have and, and the incredible hope we have for our future. Uh, really engaging with our community and applying our creative selves to give the most. So thank you very much for this opportunity. Now, just go out, go for a walk, and, and do your talk for whether it's half an hour or an hour. 
power walking and talking, keeps the blood pumping outside fresh air. So that's uh, one thing that we're trying to do more of at City Hall. But uh, I, I do a lot more of my inspiration does come from, uh, I think, being in large gatherings, getting the, the, the juice of large gatherings, uh, or, or being in places that are full of life, like Stanley Park, where you just, you're surrounded by life force. And that, that's what stirs it up for me. But I know uh, to each their own. I think creati creativity comes from all different sources and forms, and, and you just, that's all about finding your muse. But, but don't rule out meetings. It is possible. <laughs> that's a great question. 